welcome to vlog two. It is fall break, um, so I'm at home. Um, nobody else is home right now except for my cousin is downstairs. But I thought I would do an intro to this vlog, update you on what I've read the past few days since the end of my last vlog. So I did finish The Woman in White. Absolutely loved it. Um, I gave it a 4, 4.25 out of 5 stars, um, mostly because it wasn't a 5 stars, because I felt like some of the, like, discovering some of the answers to the mystery was a little bit um, convenient. I felt like the main character just was like, oh, because of this and this, I kind of thought that maybe this could be the answer, and then he'd end up being right, and you're like... Sometimes it felt like it was the conclusions he came to were a little bit of a leap, in my opinion. Um, and yet they turned out to be right, so it was a little strange that way, but, um, it was fine. I also found it really annoying. This is totally a personal, like, modern day woman point of view that I'm coming from, obviously. The fact that Mr. Hartwright ent ended up with Laura and was super into Laura, and I was like, she was, had no personality, and she was just so... Like, I just, the whole book, I just felt like there was nothing interesting about her. She was just such a flat character. And, like, it would talk about how, like, they had had some conversations and moments and stuff. And so he, like, found an interest in her. But I felt like the whole time it literally just came down to she was prettier than Marion. And that's why he chose her over Marion. <laughs> because I felt like Marion was a way more interesting girl. <laughs> and had way more personality. Sorry, you're shaking. I'm just holding camera so I ended up knocking it down a star 0.75 of a star um just because of those couple of things but it was really good overall I enjoyed the mystery I felt like it was well done and it wasn't what I was expecting which was a good thing because I feel like it could have been very cliche but it wasn't so definitely recommend that if you have never read it before if you like murder mysteries although I don't know if I would call it a murder mystery actually but mysteries so then i ended up listening i'm very close to being done with we too on audiobook and still really liking that um we're getting closer to the point i think where albert is shot and i don't think it will go much into her later life maybe briefly but not a ton because it's mostly focused on her relationship with albert so we'll see how it goes but physically i started two on a tower by thomas hardy Really enjoying this. I literally have only read two chapters, but I definitely am liking it more than Under the Greenwood Tree, which is the last Hardy I read, which I gave three stars to. I enjoyed it, but it wasn't great. Um, but this is definitely has a bit of a different tone to it. Um, where I feel like I'm being able to get to know the characters a little bit better than I did in Under the Greenwood Tree. Um, and it's only two chapters in, and I already feel like I'm getting a better sense of these characters than those characters, and I just love Hardy's writing, so I'm excited to be reading another Hardy. Um, I also am planning, I think I mentioned this in the last vlog, but I'm planning on, once I finish We Too, listening to Oliver Twist on audiobook. I've already downloaded the audiobook on LibriVox. It's a really, it's a pretty good version. The narrator I've listened to a bit, played a little sample, and I'm feel like it will be good, so I'm excited for that. I actually just got back from a date slash meet up with some friends. Well, it ended up only being one friend and his wife um, because the other friend that was gonna be there broke her arm um, earlier today, so she couldn't come. <laughs> so anyway, but it was a lot of fun. I was going to take some footage of that, but I just was living in the moment and totally forgot, um, but I will, if I can get it, um, my friend took a picture of us, so I'll put that right here. If I ended up getting it, if not, then I'll probably cut this part out. So that is where I'm at right now with reading. Um, hopefully I'll be able to take some clips. We're going to, there's this thing called Corn Bellies that my family goes to every year. It's like this Halloween festival, like fall harvest festival type thing. They do a corn maze and then they do like wagon rides and all sorts of other things. So we're planning on going to that on Monday. Should be fun. And then I also have a lunch with another friend from my mission on Tuesday. So it should be fun couple days and we'll be able to relax and read a lot. I still have some homework, not a ton, but a little bit that I should probably make sure I do this weekend. So 
Um, but it'll be nice to just kind of chill for the next couple days. I've definitely needed it for my mental health. <laughs> so hopefully we'll continue to enjoy this time and I'll get some good footage from it. I'm just standing on this side because my arm's this way. Anyway, hi friends. We're going to Corn Bellies, which is like our local like fall festival thing. And it's the last year they're doing it. So we are taking advantage while I'm on fall break. Are you excited, Noah? I'm very excited, Tori. This is like our childhood. It's true. That we're revisiting by coming to Corn Bellies one last time. Hopefully we can find another fall festival to go to. And so I'll be taking some clips since this is probably the most exciting thing you'll see in these freaking vlogs, cause I suck. So yeah. <laughs> update sorry i'm gonna talk a little quiet because i know my roommates are trying to get to sleep but i'm back at school if you can't tell from the background um however <laughs> i have not read very much i have made decent progress in two on a tower not a ton but i did read six chapters while i was at home which is good because i honestly wasn't sure how much i would read while there um as i had more plans than i usually do for breaks but i was able to read a good chunk honestly at this point i don't think i'm going to finish another book i want to finish at least we too my audiobook by the end of the month but it is currently 23rd which means i have like seven eight days however there's a lot going on <laughs> Um, I just kind of realized once I got back, today's my first like full day back, I got back last night, and I just realized I have a lot coming up that is due between homework due and registering for next semester's classes. I have to do some things to prepare for that. So, <laughs> I don't know if I'll finish one. If I, I'd like to at least try to finish this, but again... I have, I have an essay, I have this big journal thing due, I have a couple tests. So everything's just coming up at once as it usually does with school. So um, I'm gonna try, keep reading this. I also will start my buddy read of Wuthering Heights tomorrow. So definitely won't finish that by the end of the month, but I'll still be reading it. And then, so yeah, tonight I was planning on reading some more. I think I'll at least read a chapter. Um, as it is a little late, I ended up, <laughs> um, I decided to watch a Victorian period drama. So I picked The Turn of the Screw, the BBC, sorry I'm switching hands really quick. Anyway, the BBC movie version that came out a couple, a few years ago, like 2009, sorry, switching again. And it was really creepy, I wasn't expecting it to be that creepy, but... And weird it was just kind of weird but anyway also I know that Henry James was technically an American who became a citizen of Britain so like you can decide if that counts as Victorian literature but I was counting it um, so I kind of want to read the book now just to see how it translates because there were some things in that show that I was like really is that really in a Victorian novel like I just anyway so I'm curious to see what actually happens in the book. I've heard it's boring, but that movie was pretty odd, so... But I could also see it possibly be boring as a book. Anyway, that's the update. I am really liking Two on a Tower. Um, I've liked the characters. I'm definitely liking it already better than I liked Under the Greenwood Tree, which is good. Sometimes when I read a Hardy I don't like so much, I get worried the next time I read one. Because I'm like, well, what if he's not as good as I thought he was? Like, I don't know. What if none of the rest of his books are as good? But I need to stop thinking that way because it's totally illogical. But anyway, um, yeah, so we'll close out this update 
now and hopefully I'll update you one or two more times before the end of the month because yeah I don't know what's gonna happen so here's hoping I get a decent more reading done than I expect to. Hey guys I actually have a reading update for you um also sorry if you hear any screaming in the background my roommates are playing a video game. I Finally started Weathering Heights. Just read the first two chapters today. Um, I'm budding reading L. I'm buddy reading it with a couple of my roommates. So we were starting today and just we're reading two chapters at a time. So I am already being reminded why I enjoyed it so much the first time, especially rereading the beginning, knowing at least. I mean, I've forgotten a lot about this book, but I know. The basics of the story and so knowing those basics it's interesting to revisit especially the beginning where it's taking place after all of the events that are discussed in this book it's just great so also this um edition is so pretty i just love this like silver flower under the dust jacket um but anyway really enjoying that. I also, oh, let's move this, also made some good progress in Two on a Tower today, and I'm really, really enjoying this too. I just, oh my gosh, so Swithin, <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce his name, I'm guessing, Swithin is just so sweet, and I mean, very naive, and everything, but he's just such a sweetheart, and such a little nerdy guy and I just love him oh my gosh I'm like if he wasn't so naive I'd probably want to marry him but his naivete drives me crazy but his cinnamon rollness and his love of learning and his excitement to discover and everything is just I just love it um also I'm finding the main female character, Viviette, Lady Constantine, to be also very interesting. It's fun to get inside her head, especially, I think I'm extra enjoying it because the last one I, Thomas Hardy I read was Under the Greenwood Tree, and that one um, does not really focus on the female character as much, at least not her thoughts. We get a little bit of it, but not quite as in-depth as I'm getting in this, which is one of the things I love reading in Thomas Hardy is being able to see his female characters develop and everything. And again, Under the Greenwood Tree didn't have that as much. So for any of the characters, really, development was not really as much of a thing in that book. But anyway really really enjoying this and I hope I will continue which I'm pretty sure I will because I have this feeling that things are gonna get really dramatic I'm sorry my the phone my camera is shaking so much Let me, okay I accidentally stopped the camera um but anyway readjusted now so hopefully it won't do anything crazy I have been sticking with my Victorian ASMR I switched to like a it's like a little attic sitting room with a fireplace and rain um, so a little different, but I'm really liking it. Um, it's created good vibes while I've been reading, so I think I'm gonna continue with that. I think I will continue with Two on a Tower tonight, at least a little bit more. It's only like nine o'clock, so maybe for at least another hour, or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I might go take a break and like use the restroom and <laughs> talk to my roommates for a bit and then come back. I don't know. We'll see. But also I did make some more progress in We Too and still really enjoying it. I only have like three and a half hours left so I'm really hoping to finish that in the next couple of days. Um, however, I am also listening to the Aeneid, Aeneid um, for a class so that's kind of taking up some time but I'm not listening to the full Aeneid. I'm just listening to a couple of the books so I think I only have like two more hours of that audiobook so anyway yes that is the update and hopefully I will update you again within the next day or two. It is definitely way after the end of October, but I need to 
finalize this video. So we're going to do my wrap up for this vlog. I was able to finish We Too. Sorry, I'm gonna set my... So I was able to finish We Too and really, really enjoyed it. I think I gave it four out of five stars. It was really good. I'll talk more about it in my wrap up. I don't wanna share all my thoughts on this. Um, but I did really like it. Like I said, um, it was really cool to see a better insight into the lives of both Albert and Victorious, especially in how it, they connected to each other and related to each other. I don't know where to hold this. Okay. I did also get a good chunk of the way through Two on a Tower. I don't think I've even read this since the end of October, so I feel like I can just mention it, um, where I am now. I've read... I think about a hundred pages of it so and since it's only a couple hundred pages anyway I did read a good chunk of it and I'm still really really loving it still loving Swithin he's just so sweet and charming and innocent and um I hope I continue to like him their relationship is very interesting especially because she's quite a bit older than him it's kind of an interesting dynamic that I haven't really seen as much in Victorian literature so it's been interesting to get a glimpse into it and I'm sure it will continue to be an interesting read in that way. Sorry, the lighting on this is being weird. Anyway, I also did get a good chunk of Wuthering Heights read before the end of the month. Actually, I have been reading this since the end of the month, so I've made, I'm literally almost to the end, um, but really, really liking it. So glad I decided to reread this, and it's been fun to read it with my roommate so we can analyze and talk about it together and it's just I'm really really liking it and being reminded why I loved it so much the first time has been really good and helping me to see that yes you know it is one of my favorite classics of all time as I've said that over the years but since it's been so long I wasn't sure anymore but it definitely is up there still for me I really really love it and yeah, that's it. I'm still planning on listening to Oliver Twist. Um, I've been making my way through Othello the past couple days for an English class, so I haven't gotten into Oliver Twist yet, but I intend to do that just because I really just need to get a Charles Dickens read so bad. So, and I think it'll be fun to listen to. So yes, it was a good Victober overall. I knew I wasn't going to do much reading, but I'm glad I at least started two others at the end of the month and got a pretty good chunk of the way through them before the end of the month even if I technically only read two. It was fun. I'm really glad I participated and I hope next year I'm changing my major from English to biology where I'll obviously still have a ton of homework for biology but it will be less reading and writing which I feel like will help me to be able to do more of that in my free time because I'll be more motivated to do that in my free time when I'm not doing it for school so much. So I do think it will be nice and that I should be able to read more next year. Probably still again, not a ton because I will still be in school, but I do think I'll be able to better participate. So anyway, thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time, probably in my wrap up for the month. Bye.